So an erythrocytosis is where there's an increase in the red cell mass. And um, the most common reason for this is, of course, polycythemia vera. Um, however, erythrocytosis can be divided further into primary, where there's an intrinsic defect in the erythroid space, and secondary, where there is uh, something driving the erythrocytosis, usually involving erythropoietin. However, there are certain uh, individuals who appear to be born with an, uh, an erythrocytosis. And in this case, many of these have been discovered to have a particular molecular um, defect causing the erythrocytosis. This can be primary, as in erythropoietin receptor mutations, or secondary due to defects in the oxygen sensing pathway, uh, high affinity hemoglobins and other molecular defects. And my talk will discuss in detail many of these defects. I will then look about how we should go investigating such patients, which patients are of, of interest and how they should be investigated further. And finally, I will uh, mention a little bit about management of them in the context of these patients are very rare and there's very little evidence of what uh, management should be. However, that will be discussed.